I'm very happy to welcome you to this course in the gardens of our faculty, the Faculty of Law of the University of Louvain. We'll be talking about international humanitarian law. That expression may be understood in a very broad sense as covering any rule of international law applying both in times of peace and war, which has a humanitarian purpose. This would include branches of international law such as human rights law, refugee law, international criminal law, and so on. It is not in this very broad sense that international humanitarian law is conceived in this course. It is understood in its classical meaning as referring to that body of international law which aims at regulating armed conflicts. There are different expressions used to designate that body of law. The law of war or laws of war is the oldest expression which is still used today. However, the law of war is not the most suitable expression for the subject of this course. War is an old concept in international law. Before the Second World War, a state of war was normally created in legal terms by a declaration of war. A declaration of war was simply a statement made by a state that expressed its intention to wage war against another state. It was this formal declaration of war that triggered the application of the law of war between the belligerent states. After the Second World War, the application of the law regulating the conduct of belligerents ceased to be dependent upon declaration of war, which is a rather subjective act on the part of the state. Instead, international humanitarian law applies whenever an armed conflict occurs. And an armed conflict is a material situation. This test is not only more objective, but it covers a wider range of incidents of armed violence, both between and within states. Nevertheless, when the expression law of war is still used today, particularly in the media, you should understand it as synonymous to international humanitarian law. The expression used in Belo is also used today to designate international humanitarian law. Given that this expression simply means the law in war in Latin, you would be forgiven for thinking that it is doubly out of date. However, use in bello remains a useful term of art because it is often used in contradistinction to the term use ad bellum. As we will see in detail later in the course, use ad bellum is a set of international legal rules that regulate the right to resort to force between states. If we use the old concept of war, we can say that the use ad bellum regulates whether a declaration of war was in accordance with international law, while the use in bello regulates the methods of pursuing the war once it has begun. It is important to remember that this course will be limited to the use in bello and does not cover the use ad bello. After the Second World War, when the material and objective notion of armed conflict replaced the formal and subjective notion of war, Another expression has been used, the law of armed conflict, or its abbreviations LOAC. That expression may be found in treaties in that field and is often used in legal scholarship. A competing expression, international humanitarian law, also emerged at that time. Initially, it was only used to qualify that part of the law of armed conflict that deals with the protection of persons in the hands of the enemy. In current usage, international humanitarian law is, is used to cover the whole body of rules regulating all aspects of armed conflicts, including those rules that regulate the conduct of hostilities. The use of the term international humanitarian law has been criticized, as it is argued that not all rules regulating armed conflict are properly humanitarian. For example, the law of neutrality which we will see regulates the conduct between belligerent and non-belligerent states, has been designed to protect international trade rather than people. However, the expression international humanitarian law has the advantage that it emphasizes the evolution of that law, which has increasingly focused on the protection of individuals at the expenses 
of military necessity. To be in line with this current trend and also with the current scholarship, we'll mainly use that expression in our course, and in particular its abbreviation IHL. However, keep in mind that it is synonymous with other expressions such as the law of armed conflict, use in bello, and the laws of war, and designate the same rules applicable in armed conflict.